again, I Empower Mission family. We are so excited to be back today. We have a very special guest coming on in just a couple of seconds, Mr. Eugene Garner. He is a humanitarian, a philanthropist. He is doing amazing socioeconomic um, activities here locally and globally, and not to mention in the community, in your near community. We're right here in Lithonia, Georgia at the Lithonia Arts Center. And so without further ado, let's give a round hand clap of applause for Eugene Gardner. Wow, 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 and that's what it's all about. That's what it's all about. Living and having fun in life. And we're just happy to have you here. I'm I mean, excited to be here. Wow, and I'm just happy to know you. My goodness, my goodness. I mean, family. I mean, Eugene Garner. I mean, I tell you, when I met him, it's been what, about a year ago? About a year. About a year about ago. A year ago. And I tell you, his story simply amazed me. And we talk about at Empowered Mission. We talk about individuals that are doing great things in the community that are making an impact, right? And it's flawless. And this individual has been doing so many things in the community. And we want to talk about it. We want to talk about it. And you're going to hear a lot of, uh, a lot of uh, beautiful sounds in the background because I got to say it again, we are at Lithonia Arts Center right here in Lithonia, Georgia, talking with Mr. Eugene Garner. So I'm going to dive on in because I want everybody to hear what you've been doing because I tell you, we, it's infectious, right? I, when you're serving. I enjoy what I do. I just think this is an amazing building. I mean, the owner has done a great job, you know, awesome. investing in his community, investing in people. I just, uh, hats off to the owner of this establishment, first of all. Ah, yay, that's right. Woo! Hats off to Stephen Paul, wherever you at out there. <laughs> And you know, I know you all have a chance to talk, and that's one of the things that you do. When we talk about you making an impact in the community, that's one of the things that you do. You connect people. You connect entrepreneurs. And so I do want to talk about that. You do a lot of networking, a I lot do. of networking, because you are an entrepreneur. I am. You've been in the insurance industry. You know I knew all this about you, didn't you? <laughs> <Right. laughs> you? You've been in the insurance industry for what, over 30 years? Uh, 29. 29 years. Yes. Okay. It's my first job out of college. My oh. only job, actually. Wow, wow. And so you've made a lot of connections. And so you don't just keep those connections to yourself. You are very intentional. I believe about that. About your connections. In order to be great, you have to have other people great. Wow. You understand? In order yeah. to be great, you need to help others to become greater than you. And that's the legacy. You know, when Martin Luther King died, his name continues to live today. Even more throughout the country, throughout the world his legacy. So I, if I have a legacy, I want my legacy to be that I help someone move forward. Wow. Or someone help me. Wow. And you know, that, you know what, come on now. <laughs> wow. I mean, it seems like it's something so simple, yet so little people do what you just said. And so we want to empower people to do that. So tell me, tell me about because I'm still going to get into what you've done with these young people now. Don't think I'm okay. I forget about that. We're going to talk about that. But I want to talk about, tell me about some of the individuals, adults that you've connected with one another. You were really happy about what happened from that business relationship. Um, I, I connected with it's so many. I just really don't have time to begin. But there was a John Bravo. John Bravo, he uh, has a company with JV Enterprise. His, his whole thing was to give back mm -hmm. uh, ministry. He would give back 10% of whatever he made. Okay. You know, if he made a million, he would write a check for 100000 God always got paid first. And even if he lost money, if he made money, and I watched him, and I was like, wow. He said, you know, the Lord give it, the Lord take it away. But That's blessed right. is a man that blesses God. God yeah. blessed his business so much. He made a big impact on my whole life, the way he did things. Um, but there was a James Fizel, you know, he taught me. He was the first man to say, I love you. Oh, wow. You know, way back then, you know, because, you know, I didn't have a good relationship with my father. And, you know, he came at a time in my life where I needed a man to say, hey, you know, you can go this way, you can go that way. And here's the uh, end result, so if you go to the right or left. So you decide what you want to do. So I decided to take the right, make the right decision. And here I am today. Wow. 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 High five to you. I'm telling you, because what you've done with that, 
that that individual probably didn't know what impact they placed on your life, but you basically took that and you paid it forward. I did. And now you've mentored other men. I mean, in fact, look, hold up, you know, I got my notes here. I'm so excited. You have mentored because you started back in 97, right? 1990. 1997, 1990. Mechanicsville Baseball Association. And through that association, talk about mentoring other men and paying forward what, what someone did for you. It says here that you assisted college-bound students with baseball and football recruitment among colleges, right? Over 125 young men. That is huge. Tell me about that. Because I know, I know before you tell me about that, I know your, your father, Right? Father yeah, four. I am. You were a father four back then, and you were helping these 125 um, baseball and football students. And you were also, you know, being a father, and um, I believe, you know, just being a family man, and you were an entrepreneur, you were helping 125 young men, not to mention over, I believe, 30 that went on to play what? Pro ball? Four year colleges, with many of them receiving. Um, academic scholarships. Tell me about that. How did you balance? How did you balance all those things? I I believe that God called me to work with young people. I guess you're gonna kind of get touch me a little bit. Ah. It it came with a lot of sacrifices. Mm -hmm. You know, um, I had four kids, and the only way that they could see me is they went to baseball field, or football field practice, and as my daughters got older. I, they kind of resented me a little bit, mm. you know what I mean? And that caused a strain on my relationship, but they understood what I was doing. They never fussed, you know what I'm saying? But now I try to love them even more. Oh, you know, wow. that was hard, that was wow. hard. Um, over 20 years, we got over 200 kids that graduated from college with degrees, not wow. went to college, they graduated from college. Graduated. Yes, they graduated, and I and that was more like in distressed areas, single parent homes, because that's where I came from. So my heart was there, my passion was there, and someone gave me an opportunity, and I wanted to give back. You know, I was just getting out of college, and I wanted to say, you know what, you can make it, you can do it, but I'm gonna give you a choice. Right. You can go and sell drugs, mm. or you can go out here and play baseball, football, basketball, and go to school and do the right thing. If you do that, then I'm gonna give you 100 percent of me. So you decide what you want to do, and, and you know, God blessed it. Uh, Amen. Yeah, it All was, right. It was hard because it was just me. I had no sponsors. I had no money. So all of my money, I used to give back to my program. You know, that was very difficult. But, you know, God God sustained. He made a way. Um, my kids went with that a lot. Wow. Um, but I, I'm blessed because I got four children and three of them in college, just about to be out of college. Right. That that's a blessing, you know, because God honored that what I was doing and He gave back to my kids. Um, as you know, I used to always used to say, I wish um, Oprah Winfrey, uh, Steve Harvey, somebody would come in and try to see what God is doing with with help. Right. But you know, people would write to Oprah. She never replied back. People would reply to Steve, they never replied back. And it used to bother me at first, but you know what? Yeah. I learned when God is for you, uh, that's all you need. Wow. That's all you need. Wow, 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 wow. And we're gonna come back to that because we, we've got to touch a little bit more on that. Thank you for being so transparent and sharing with us. Um, and we're gonna talk about that a little bit more, okay? We are. And, and you know what, before we close out on this break, um, Oprah and C. Harvey, um, you want Eugene Gardner on your stage. We're going to talk about I know, Oprah, you're doing a whole other thing here. I'm talking to her. Yeah, that's my girl. <laughs> um, but Eugene Gardner is somebody that we all need to talk to. We want to hear his story. We're talking about being selfless. And I believe that those angels that God dispatched different places to make sure that his kids were taken care of, and now they see all the amazing things that he's done over the years, and not to mention just his four, but he touched hundreds of kids, fought near and far. And so when we come back, we're going to talk a little bit more about that. We're going to come back from the break in a minute, y'all. We'll be back. <laughs> Are your 
teeth not living their best life? Well, it might be time to get them rejuvenated. Whether you're suffering from tooth pain, bad breath, have deformities due to an accident, bleeding gums, or just unable to eat due to discomfort, Conyers Denture and Implant Center is here for you. Conyers Denture and Implant Center specializes in a variety of services, including extractions, implants, and dentures. They have the right price and the right fit. With over 35 years of combined experience, Dr. Gordon Fraser and Dr. Benjamin Blackburn have created a unique environment focusing on educating patients on all that dentistry can provide. Once patients are clear on their options, this creates a win-win situation for every patient at Conyers Denture and Implant Center. Make sure to call or stop by today for your consultation. Clear Choice is not your only choice for full mouth rehabilitation. Here at Conyers Denture and Implant Center, we have implants to fit every budget. We provide the best that dentistry has to offer at competitive prices and unsurpassed customer service. So don't let your teeth hurt you this holiday season. Come see us at Conyers Denture and Implant Center. Three o'clock in the morning, 
during the day, and like they was fussing a little bit, and so I, I, I was kind of tore up, you know what I mean? Yeah. So I went in over on Martin Luther King where he was living, and my heart was broken, you know what I mean? But I got him, and I took him to my house, and I said, man, you know, I love you. I said, you know what? We're going to be great. We're going to do this. Wow. He said, what do you mean? He said, what do you see that I don't see? I said, I see you at a university, graduating from university. I see you doing very well. He said, why do you see that and I don't see that? I said, because I'm older than you. So a long story short, he was on the team. He struck out every game. And everybody would get mad with him. Say, kick him off the team. I said, you know what? We're as strong as our weakest name. My God. So they was like, okay, so I said, the only way we're going to get better is you guys got to learn to accept him as your brother, and we're going to work together, and he's going to do something great. Well, we get to the championship game and score zero to zero, and Maurice sucked the bat, and they said, man, let's get ready to go to extra innings because he's going to strike out. What does he do? He go hit a home run, and we win the game. Wow. Changed his life. Changed his life. Changed his whole life. Changed his life. Changed his life. He went to college. He graduated from Georgia Southern. He's in the military. He's done. I mean, I mean, I can go on and on. So many examples, but that was uh, that was one that would always stick with me. You know. Yeah. And, and and you had to look at your girls and and your proud. son. I know. Don't I know. Proud. You had to look at them and say, you know, I, you know, daddy's gonna go, you know, and. You know, what's so awesome about that, I mean, when we look for the good in it, your children um, are either in college or graduating from college, right? Yeah. Very, very bright. Extremely. I got four Extremely kids. Extremely bright. Four. Uh, one of them is in the master's. My uh, daughter, she graduates in December. She's getting ready for medical school. And I got one daughter that's an actress. I, one story about her, I remember, she was like, Daddy, you know, I am so tired in the rain. These kids, they don't ever have money. We don't have money because all the money you make, you give it to them. So I was, like I said, I was kind of like confused. You know, I was like, man, God, you called me to do this, but my kids are suffering. So I said, well, look, I tell you what, we're going to go and do ice cream. <laughs> and my daughter said, we did that three years ago. Mm -hmm. That was a low point in my life. Right there. She said, we did that three years ago. I said, God, I said, I'm a bad daddy. I said, y'all, I was like, no, we understand. Because you came up like that. So, you know, I didn't have my dad. I, I, I wanted to give those kids an opportunity. Yeah, yeah. You know? yeah. So I did that with my heart. Yeah. And as I look back over it, you know, over 200 of them graduated with a degree, and a lot of them are saved. They, they're married. They, they're they doing well. And I tell them, don't owe me nothing. I just want y'all to play it forward. And I would always say that yeah. to them. It's like, coach, what you want? I say, play it forward. Play Go it help forward. someone else. And, and what used to hurt as well, a lot of my friends that grew up without their fathers, you know, that don't become what you hate. Right. That's what my mom used to tell right. me. I see a lot of men. African American men, yeah, yeah, they go get children, and because it don't work with the, the the wife or the girlfriend, they don't want to have nothing to do with them. I said, how could you do the same thing that happened to us? So I just want to be different. Right, and, right. You know, that's, that's that's my story, you know. That's my story. You know? And you are different, says the flower. <laughs> <laughs> you are different, and you know what? You are also an amazing father. You know, and you all, let's just give him a hand clap. Okay. You're an amazing father. And not just an amazing father to four, right? Four, but an amazing father to hundreds out there. That young man, when you said, and you said to all of those young men, you said, you know what, we are only as strong as our weakest link. That's something that we can learn, right? In corporate America, in our ministries, in our churches, in these community um, activities that we're involved in, that one statement, we are only as strong as our weakest link. And that means everybody gets together and build that one person up and you changed his life. You changed his life. And it also changed your children's life. It did. Because they're going to pay it forward too. They're going to pay it forward too. 
you know, there's, you know, there's not enough time to talk to you, Coach. I'm telling you because there's some things when we come back from the break that I want to talk about that you specifically did because I want other people, individuals that want to serve, to learn from what you're doing and what you did and so they can go out and pay it forward, right? And imagine if we had another four or 500 from one Eugene Gardner program, right? That graduate from college and go out to be greater citizens, greater fathers, and they pay it forward. So after we come back from the break, we're gonna talk about that, all right? All right, awesome. We'll be right back, y'all. jerking in the house you know and there's more room out than in right but these are tears of joy because even through all the different things that you've done and you know all the different challenges that you've had on your journey I mean it's just so awesome to see how much of an impact you've made in our community and so we commend you for that we commend you for that we commend you for that, we commend you for that. You know, and one thing I love about Eugene is he does not take all the credit. Very, very humble individual. He gives all the glory to God. And so as we go to our close, I'm going to ask you two more questions. Well, actually three more. Give it to me, two and a half, okay? Um, but the first question is, so that we can make it infectious and we can have, have other individuals like yourself out in our community replicating what you did and what you are still doing, what are two or three things you could say to them on how to make it happen, how to help our young people, you know, understand the importance of education, decisions that they make, and how to have that vision and shoot toward that vision? What, what would you say to them, to the adults out there that are trying to replicate what you did? I would say to the men, I can't speak for the women, I think the men have to have a genuine heart when they see a woman who's single, the father's not involved in the child's life. They have to have integrity because a child is the single most thing that a woman loves that she birthed. Wow. And that man needs to have love for that child and not try to play house with the mama. Because mm. I never did. Come on, somebody. I never did that. Wow. That was never an option. Right. It's all about trying to help that young man or that young lady get to where they need to get to in life. That's something that I took pride in. Over 200 women, they can look you and anybody else in the eye and say, this guy is for real. Wow. You know, opportunities was there, but it never was about them. It was about helping the child. Wow. That's awesome. That's awesome. That's awesome. That is simply amazing, outstanding. I can't come up with, you know what? I need about 5,000 adjectives for that. That's, that is great. I mean, because it's bigger than, it's bigger than that. It's, it's so much bigger than, you know, like you said, some people want to just get with the, the mother. I mean, that's just real talk, y'all. We know we do real talk here, too. But you're saying, listen, 
it's bigger than that. We're talking about a young woman or a young man's life that's in the balance, right? And that we're trying to make an impact on them so they can go further. Okay, awesome. How did you get your funding? Because <laughs> <laughs> I heard you tell us, my kids were like, hold up, we're giving all our money to these folks and we ain't, wait, hold up. So how did you get your funding then um, and now? I, I, I am a very good insurance agent. Okay. And a lot of people saw that I was helping these kids, so a lot of people bought a lot of policies from me. Oh, wow. But, like, a lot of my money went to the program versus home, so that kind of caused problems. And I'm a good business person, so I created great business relationships, and I taught the young man how to fish, mm -hmm. not ask. Got so it. So you're going to get out here, and you're going to work with me, and we're going to raise money for what it is that we needed to do. So I'm proud that we used to fly to our football, uh, to our football or baseball games. We used to have charter buses. We used to stay at the Marriott at the Hyatt. I wanted to give them wow. the best in life because they saw the worst. Mm. So if you give wow. them the best in life, so when they met a young lady or that young lady met a young man, if he didn't respect your values, if he, didn't, if he couldn't give you better than what I showed you, then you don't need it. Wow. So that's how I ran my it's to this day, I'm the same way. Wow, you are. I know that firsthand. That is awesome. Thank you for that. And don't yes. expect wow. the Steve Harvey, uh, nothing bad. Yeah, uh, I mean, Oprah, like all these people. It's people like Denise. It's people like oh, you that you. get the story out there, and somebody can see it. And somebody say, "Hey, look, you know, hey, we want to amendment that. We want to uh, duplicate that. Right. You know what I'm saying? So you are my hero. Not oh, that. bless you." You are our publicized hero today, though. Uh uh, you're not gonna give it to me. I'll put it right back over there. Come on, y'all. Yes, publicized hero.